Yo, what's up, community? Your man, Evil Foot, Metro Manila. You know the place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Bringing you another Evil sneaker review, and today is the AJ1 Element Vortex. Officially, Colorways is a light bone cell, but unofficially, it's an Evil t-shirt of Colorways. As always, my homie Anthony Agrip is the illest producer ever. Feet on feet today are my AJ1 Pollens. Pollens. Hey. Yo. As always, EvilTshirtClub.com for the illest, rarest villain t-shirts ever. So here we go. Uh, this was a pickup from Jordan Brand Manila. And when you pull the sneaker and you look at the bottom of the bag, that's all you need to know about the sneaker light. Gun man, not period, nothing more. Here's a look at the box. Notice this Vortex logo in the bottom right hand corner. So cool. Uh, and this, this box runs a, a bit bigger than your standard 1985 retro high OG AJ1. Take note of that. And the sneakers come you know, wrapped up like a gift wrap. Instead of you know just having the paper in the box like normal, uh, they wrap the actual sneakers. So you don't have to do anything extra to right? celebrate holidays. You might get this gift. Yeah. Boom, there we go. Vortex tag. So this has like three different logos. You got the wings, Vortex, and the Nike swoosh. So, you know, a lot of collaboration going on here. A very classic silhouette. And look at the materials here. I think it's pretty dope. The colorways is dope. I had to wait for this one. Uh, the brother was out a little bit earlier here in Manila, but I waited on this. And then you can see the half rubber, half translucent outsole, which is a pretty cool twist. And this tag just gives you like the, the rundown on the uh, Vortex technology, but I'll, I'll give you guys a look at how that factors into this particular sneaker. And the first thing you notice is this Nike Air tongue tag is different, it's all center, but I think it's unique, a nice little feature that they like to change up from time to time when they're doing different things with this classic silhouette. No shoe tree, of course, uh, this has paper, paper stuffing. And I'm gonna unlace these guys. And you notice that this did come laced already. And there's the technology right there. You see that the tongue is actually attached to the sneaker itself. Uh, so you can step in moderate puddles of water. Just don't go ankle high uh, because it's gonna go in from the top. That's not gonna be comfortable to your socks. <laughs> Pull out the uh, insole. So nothing fancy with the insole. That's just standard Nike Air labeling. But if you look at how the, um, the outsole is attached to the sneaker, to the upper, uh, that's a bit different. So you have more, a uh, little bit more secure, so you don't have to worry about that water leaking in. Which is good uh, if you live in an area like this, you know, we get a lot of rain here in Manila. And you see that there's no ventilation going on, so I, I'd love to see PJ Tucker wear these in the game. <laughs> this would, would be sweaty. Uh, so then you see the swoosh here. That's not sewn on. It's just, you know, I don't know if that's glued on or painted on. And then, then look at the, uh, the leather here. Pretty good material, quality. I don't know if I need to weatherproof this leather or not. I'm pretty sure I will just to be safe. The images online have water on it, so they should be resistant. And as you see, the, the back of the, the hill is straight. Uh, versus, you know, it being a uh, curvature going on there. Again, half rubber, half translucent outsole. See Nike is hidden right there. What are your thoughts? You went good with this? I'm totally good with this. Oh yeah, this only includes one uh, set of laces. It's going to be laced with black. Uh, so I did grab a set of gray. Uh, that's kind of like all setting a bit, but who knows? What are your thoughts? I also want to give you guys an example of the brother. Uh, I, I could have picked up both of them, but I figured this, I'm, I'm good with this the cell other ways. Uh, but this particle gray brother is more of a green in hand. Uh, so the medial, lateral, and toe box look very green in hand. Uh, it doesn't really show up well on camera, uh, but those who have it in hand will know the difference. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the content if you like it. Until next time, peace.